Welcome along to the Worms Reloaded February 2020 series here. We are back in the arena and today once again we are going to witness Deathwish 808 battling with a load of crap their third meeting of this February 2020 series. Let's take a look at the current standings with Deathwish 808 taking three wins from their first four matches here with the three worm bonus as well that puts him on nine points a load of crap with only the one win and one worm bonus at the bottom of the table currently with three points but anything could happen as the two behemoths meet once again in this single match tonight who will come out of the top and will a load of crap be able to make some ground on Deathwish's early lead here we go then ladies and gentlemen it is match number five of the february 2020 series death wish and a load of crap once again locking halls to do battle in the worms arena we are inside we are potentially looking for a pit here let's see what the game offers up the players today as death wish is scrolling through the the options and indeed we do have a pit scenario and it is game time here in the arena who is the game going to serve up as going first it's death wish uh, now this worm on the right hand side here doesn't really have a lot of opening options He could try and loft up a grenade to catch that barrel or maybe even get over the top of the barrel and um, Sink JJ's worm into the drink the uh, only thing he's got to be wary of here is that all his two worms underneath that He's got the bazooka out. He's gonna try and put a shot into this flaming barrel. I believe Let's see what the outcome is gonna be And there we go. Deathwish getting away with the damage there on those two lower worms. The um, explosion in the barrel and the fires there sending a load of craps worm to that uh, like middle positioned worm of Deathwish is on the right hand side. And it is now a load of craps turn to play the game. I think we might see a, sorry, a bazooka shot cross map here. Um, possibly looking to take out Deathwish's lower right worm here. Let's see what he's going to go and do. The wind is slightly against him, but I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Although I do believe he's going to want a bit more of an angle than that, or else it might end up in the pond. He winds it up. It's maximum power shot. And just like I predicted, I think he needed more of an angle against that three wind. Uh, the wind was always going to push the shot down, but... Um, a load of crap there, unable to make uh, any sort of gains on that opening encounter. Deathwish now with the worm on the left hand side, standing on top of the barrel. I think he's going to just loft something over the top here. Uh, he's switching out to the grenade. I think he's going to attack this um, lower left worm here of a load of crap. Let's see how this pans out. I think just like lofting a um, grenade up and over there would quite easily knock a load of craps worm into the drink we're over halfway through the turn here three seconds on the timer death wish has gone too short though sorry too long um i think what he was trying to do was get the explosion to happen mid-air there's fire damage which is lowered down oh my goodness that's knocked jj's worm down into the drink let's take another look at that just as we was too busy there commentating what's happening on the left and so you see the fire drops down and that actually pushes a load of craps worm down into the drink followed by Deathwish. unfortunately though for a load of crap Deathwish's worm managing to cling on there to the right hand side of that barrel uh, that bottle down there and he lives to fight another day and that's the beauty of this game. You can never predict what is going to happen. Deathwish takes the early advantage here, four to three. And it's a load of craps now, high worm here. I think the only option here would be to just drop a grenade down in this pit. And um, I think he could swing that pendulum back into his favor to take a three on two advantage here. He lines up a two second grenade. He's gonna bank it off the wall straight down. But unfortunately there was too much of a, a bounce off that bank there. And um, it hits the bot edge of the bottle into the drink, and um, unfortunately, a load of crap could not come, uh, could not capitalise. Sorry, on that manoeuvre. Um, Deathwish here going from across the map, bazooka shot towards the trainer. It's low. Um, he had another option there. I think he could have gone. He could have gone high, potentially, and attacking a load of crap's high worm here on the right hand side. The only problem with that potentially was that it could have dropped the worm down into the path of Deathwish's two worms, and. Um, all three could have met a watery grave. A load of crap now with his lower left worm here. I think we're going to see a cross map bazooka shot, which is 
too high initially, but it knocks both of Death Wish's worms into the drink. The pendulum has swung. It is three on two in a load of crap's favour. How can Death Wish retaliate here? Um, he can't really attack this top uh, worm on the right here unless he can backflip. He can actually backflip up and out here. I think we're going to see another backflip. He's going to work his way to the edge of this brolly and um, hopefully he's going to be able to cause enough damage. I, I think he actually has changed his mind here. I thought he might be going to attack the top worm. I think he's going to attack the worm on the train across the map. Shot again, slightly too low and um, he's not able to bring down the worm count of a load of crap. Um, a load of crap with the advantage here. I think this is probably in the four, in the previous four maps. This is the first time that we've actually seen um, a load of crap take the early advantage here. And um, his worm placement's not looking too bad if he can lower this. I mean, he's got four against him. He's going to go for a bazooka shot, so he's going to need a slightly higher angle. It's, it's very dangerous, though, to do that when you are so close to that ceiling um, landscape there. Not the shot I was intended, but nicely loops it back into the pit, but falls off. Oh, my God. So he hits the barrels there. Uh, Deathwish there with big damage on his worm, taking him down to 27. But then, for some reason, a load of crap accidentally falls off the right-hand side of that brolly and causes 10 to himself. And um, that's now put both of these two worms here in a very dangerous position. If Deathwish could get a nice bazooka shot in between them, potentially hitting the fire barrel, we could be seeing the end of two of a load of crap's worms here. Let's see how this shot pans up. It's up. It's a grenade shot. Like I said, he's hit both. Unfortunately for Deathwish, though, the worm did not hit the fire on that lower right-hand side. There is, however, enough damage because he was next to that explosive ba dam uh, barrel. Sorry. And just like that, the tables have turned once again. It is two on one in Deathwish's favour. Um, of course, when you hit a, a worm next to anything that's explosive, it does cause that overkill damage. So, um, massive damage, 95. I'm sure a load of crap is going to be kicking himself for allowing his worm to drop off that right-hand side here. So um, I think a load of crap is going for bank shots in between the mines. He can't quite flip the mine, though, up into the air, which is um, unfortunate for him. But certainly going forward, these shots are going to be very tricky for a load of crap to be able to capitalize. Deathwish's worm on the left-hand side there is in a very nice and safe position as we speak. Deathwish with the bazooka going to go for an under-the-landscape shot here. A bit of splatter damage, and that puts a load of crap in even more of a difficult situation here. Deathwish looks like he's going to be just working away at that bottom area until um, a load of crap's worm potentially falls down. So what can a load of crap do here to pull it out of the bag? Can he come back from this two on modern situation um other than doing these bank shots here i don't really think he has a lot on he's going for a lower angle though on this grenade toss to see if he can get it more towards death wishes worm on top of that brolly let's see how this um this bank shot pays off actually he swapped to the, the bazooka um i didn't actually notice there the, the the wind was with him and he just tries to curl it around uh unfortunately even with that little power there's just not enough um, there was just not enough with the three wind there to to put it round enough. Deathwish's worm here with three wind against him. Um, not really sure what he's going to try and do here. Um, he could try and do a bit of terraforming, or he could take his worm as he is doing all the way over to the left hand side here. <laughs> he's found himself in the pit right now. He could take his worm all the way over to the left hand side to try and give himself a better angle on a grenade shot. Although has he just now made his worm stranded on this left hand side here? That would be a uh, quite dangerous the clock ticking down over halfway through the shot he is desperately trying to backflip out to bring this worm back into play but i don't think it's going to happen so um if a load of crap can do anything with that worm on the right hand side there of Deathwish, that's going to make things very interesting indeed the clock has run down Deathwish unable to take his turn and we are back to a load of crap here can he um I think I think we're going to be switching back to grenades. I don't think the wind has changed enough to be able to curl a rocket shot back. No, it has not. So he's um, he's retreated all the way back to the right hand side here. And looks like he is going to try and open up an alcove on that left hand side. Took the six damage, but you know it's very minimal damage when you've got a bigger picture in mind. What is Deathwish going to do here though? Can he lower a load of crap's worm down from that top perch? I think what a load of crap is going to try to do though. As he lands on the bottle down below near the drink, that is over half his health gone. So um, 
He, he's out at the top, but I think what he was trying to do maybe was open up that top left area and then maybe try and jump across to um, give himself a better shot at Death of the Wishes. 71 worm. I think there's enough here, though. If death, if, if a load of crap wants to, I think he could jump across there over to that pit, but I don't think he's going to go for that right now. He's going to go for a cross map grenade toss here. The wind is completely against him, so a bazooka is out of the question. Five seconds on the timer. It catches the top, rolls the wrong way. Splatter damage only causes 11 damage to Death Wishes Worm. But has that opened up enough of an area for Death Wishes Worm to escape here? Let's have a look. We, we know he was trying to backflip out of this area in his previous Worm's previous turn, but um, looks like we are still in the same situation here. There are literally pixels on that right-hand side. There's a very fine line of black pixels, which is stopping him from moving to the right. And he's just not quite high enough to be able to uh, to get out of this pit. He swaps it to a four-second timer on the grenade. No, he's going to a bazooka. Having the wind might not be too difficult. If he could just loft it nicely into the air, it might have enough of an angle with the wind to come back down. It's lofted over. It's looking good, but unfortunately, just slightly too much. That mine, though, might come into play. Oh, wow. So what happened there was the mine was teetering on the edge. I think we'll take another look at the replay as we go through this one, though. Deathwish initially with the nice lofted rocket shot across the map, slightly too high, goes over the top of a load of crap, but that allows the mine to drop down, and as you can see, it's bouncing around, it's bouncing around, it doesn't hit a load of crap, but it, as soon as it hits the water, it causes that explosive damage, and knocks JJ's worm straight into the drink, and Deathwish takes the match here, Two worms to one, and uh, that's the first time we have seen more than one worm survive in this February series so far. So let's take a look at the updated lead table here. Deathwish808 extending his lead by four points with that win and two worm bonus here over a load of crap. Played five, won four of the five games. Total of 13 points, a load of crap there. 10 points behind on three. Will a load of crap be able to pull back the deficit before the end of the month? Only time will tell. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with more Worms Reloaded action real soon. But until then, see ya.